Tensions ran high outside of Milford Superior Court. Some family and friends of the victim, 17-year-old Jimmy McGrath, seen in an altercation with now 17-year-old Raul Lito Valley and his family after a hearing. Come on, get on the sidewalks. Valley, a Milford teen charged with stabbing McGrath to death at a party in Shelton back in May. An emotional day for the McGraths, both outside and inside the courtroom. Sitting just feet away from her brother's alleged killer, his sister let out a loud sob in the courtroom. The family quickly exited and came back in. Valley's attorney, Kevin Smith of Pattison Smith Law, the firm who represented Fotos Dulos, asking for time outside for his client, who was on a strict house arrest after posting a $2 million bond. Um, in order to assist uh, his mother as well as um, in order to get the benefits of being outside for some period of time. The judge allowing the St. Joseph's High School student to be outside on the premises of his house, but taking away his inside entertainment. No internet access. Uh, if he has a cell phone, he needs to turn that over to his parents. The defense asking for more time to process new evidence in the case. The victim's father, Kevin McGrath, says he respects the court's process. Isn't I don't think it's going to be the end game is kind of resolve this as quickly as, as possible so we can kind of close this chapter and move on with our lives. But, you know, we know this is going to be dragged out. So we don't want to have to come into every court date and have a continuance. The courtroom filled with McGrath's loved ones and Fairfield Prep teammates. The support, the family says, makes all the difference as they mourn the loss of their son. It's been wonderful. It is the outpouring from our community is it's just amazing. It's, you know, it's a reality starting to set in, but they're, you know, working overtime to try to make us as comfortable as possible. Valley is expected back in court on September 12th, and when asked about this case, his attorney had no comment. In Milford, Lindsey Kane, Fox 61 News.